Mary, first try and tell us what, what the importance is, because nothing's changing in blue states, which feels like a victory, except until Kaczmarek's ruling, this wouldn't have been considered a victory. We're, this is just status quo. Some would argue we've actually gone backwards. We just have maybe for a moment stopped rolling backwards. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it's a reminder of how much the Overton window has shifted on a lot of questions around reproductive health and rights. Uh, it's also uh, hopefully a sign that there is a too far for this Supreme Court, at least when it comes to potentially plaintiffs with no standing in a case that is untimely. Even if that is a case that would roll back access to abortion, maybe this was a bridge too far for these justices. And it is good news if there is a bridge too far, even if I, I think it's it's premature to think that more is going on than that. Uh Cecile, let's talk about what, what President Biden said and what we saw in November in the, in the midterm elections and in a couple of other cases, including the Kansas ballot measure. Whether ballot measures were brought by people who wanted to preserve abortion rights or to, to get them uh, eroded, the result was the same across America, even in places where Republicans were elected, where people are overwhelmingly conservative, where they may not like or want to have an abortion for themselves, overwhelmingly Americans support uh, the legalization of abortion. Well, oh, that's right, Ali, because this is actually about a question. It's an issue of freedom. It's about like who gets to decide about pregnancy. And the American people have been very consistent. And of course, even since the Dobbs decision have been more even more consistent uh, at the polls, as you said, all five states that considered ballot initiatives, even very Republican states, uh, overwhelmingly voted in favor of abortion rights. We saw just um, a few weeks ago in the state of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, a Supreme Court race that was absolutely uh, defined by, by this issue. Um, so the American people are clear. I still believe, even though tonight we should celebrate, this is really important that People in this country can get mifepristone. They can get medication abortion tomorrow, and for as long as we as as long as we can uh, keep that right available. But I do think it is to Mary's point. This case should have never been taken. Mm -hmm. This was there is zero evidence um, that the the FDA made a mistake in this case. This was not about the health and safety for women. It was all about politics. But Mary, to, I mean the the bridge too far argument. I hope you're right, but. I mean, this was literally a judge telling the FDA that they didn't do something right without any scientific or health evidence. And to, to Cecile's point, it does become about who gets to make these decisions in, in society. We have taken what we agreed as a society, and most other uh, modern societies have agreed are medical decisions and decisions between people and their, their physicians and turned it into a, a political football. Yeah, I mean, and the irony, of course, is that the, some of the conservative justices on this court spent a lot of time complaining about how Roe v. Wade had forced judges to serve as medical review boards. And so it would be pretty rich for this court to say, actually, it's fine for us to serve as medical review boards as long as we're doing that in the name of eliminating abortion access. And it's fine if we actually take the abortion issue away from American voters if it's in the name of eliminating abortion. Abortion access. So, I don't. I don't actually necessarily believe that the justices were averse to doing those things. I'm not sure that this case, given all of the procedural problems with it, was oh. going to be a vehicle uh, the, the justices necessarily could stomach. But I think it's it's way too early to assume we're not going to see more from this Supreme Court. And on of this course, issue. that's the issue, Cecile. That that. Uh, 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 this 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 case uh, was just it had its it had its problems. The, the judge in this case um, has his own uh, background associated with it, and the, the case didn't read very well. That's not always going to be the case. Someone's going to get smarter about this down the road. Exactly. And one thing we haven't talked about was that not only were women uh, incredibly angry about this decision and its impact, but you had the entire medical community come out. You know, it's scathing editorial by the head of the American Medical Association saying, we're now going to have judges stand in the, in the role that doctors and medical professionals and scientists play. Um, you saw an overwhelming backlash from the pharmaceutical companies um, going out in public on this issue, which has really never happened before. So I think it's, I think a, women still have a lot of reason to be concerned about this Supreme Court. I do think this was a particularly awful case. And to to think that something like that, that this case could actually unite the pharmaceutical industry, the medical community, and women across America 
I think um, is one of the reasons, kind of probably to Mary's point here, uh, one of the reasons why this was this was a loser. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry it wasn't a unanimous decision. It was really disturbing to see Alito's, uh, you know, um, dissent.